Today I'm going to show you how I make mini or lunchbox tres leches cake. This is going to be good. Here we go. So today I'm making tres leches cake and I'm going to make four mini versions of that. Here I have three large eggs and I'm separating the yolks and whites. There are so many methods to do this. Use the one that you prefer. I like using clean hands. Now I'm going to place my egg whites into the refrigerator to chill until I'm ready to use them. Now let's work on the cake batter. In a bowl, I am going to add a half cup of sugar. What I did was reserved one tablespoon from the sugar and I'm going to use that when I go to whip up the egg whites later. Next, I have my three egg yolks that are gonna go in. I'm also going to be adding three tablespoons of evaporated milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm just going to whisk and cream everything together. In a separate bowl, I'm going to add my chilled egg whites and that reserved tablespoon of sugar. With my electric mixer, I'm going to beat these until stiff peaks. So when the egg whites stand up like this, when I pull out the mixer, that's stiff peaks. I'm going to add a half cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Here I have one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and I'm just going to shake that in with this sieve or wire mesh strainer to get out any lumps and kind of mix better. And I'm going to work that in with my whisk. Actually, the salt was sort of coarse, so I might have to just pour that in. <laughs> it's not going to go through. Now I'm going to combine well. This next ingredient, I should have added it to the wet ingredients, but here I'm adding one tablespoon of cooking oil. I'm using avocado oil, and that should have gone in with the eggs and vanilla earlier, but you know, here we go. So I'm gonna combine well, and once this is mixed and combined well, I am going to start folding in my egg whites. My cake batter is combined well, it's fluffy, it's light, so now it's time to go into my baking tins. Here I'm working with, these are 6 by 3.5 inch baking tins. They kind of are in the shape of like a mini loaf pan. And I'm just going to scoop in the batter using the scooper, but I'm just going to fill it up around halfway. And this cake batter amount will be enough for four of these. And if you just want to use this batter for a single cake, this is enough batter to go into a seven or eight inch cake pan. These are ready and I'm gonna bake in a preheated oven of 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 17 minutes. So I'm gonna work on the tres leches mixture. So here I have about 10 fluid ounces of evaporated milk and I have Two fluid ounces of whipping cream. It's just the end of this bottle and I'm gonna combine it. You could use an entire evaporated can of milk for this, but I used around three tablespoons to go into the batter. That's why it's around 10 fluid ounces. I'm just gonna give this a really good shake and that's two milks of the three, but I really want to use anything left in this container. So I'm gonna pour this into my measuring cup and for the third milk, I'm going with sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to add around a quarter of a cup. It's really to your taste. Add a little bit, mix it up, give it a taste. It's really as sweet or not so sweet as you want this entire cake. Okay, so now I'm going to add some ground cinnamon. 
I'll start with like a pinch, an eighth of a teaspoon. Here, I'm going to add like a half teaspoon to one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I kind of think it's more like one teaspoon and a couple of drops, this is optional, of orange extract. Just two to three drops works for this amount. And I like the taste of this, but you don't have to add it. Now I'm just going to combine and whisk this well. And that's it. Now my original Tres Leches cake, I love to steep a cinnamon stick with orange peel into the three milks, but this is a quick version. Okay, my cake is done, or my little mini cakes. So I'm going to remove that, or my husband is, he's gonna help me out here. And you'll want to let this completely cool. And I'm just gonna let it hang out here on the stove and let it cool. But while it's still warm, I'm gonna take a paring knife and just sort of scrape off that top layer of the cake. It's not really a layer, it's kind of like the little crust that forms on top. I want to expose the porous spongy cake because that's what's going to make it so much easier for the tres leches to soak into this cake. So I have some skewers and I'm not gonna use the pointy end. I'm going to use the flat or blunt end of the skewer because I don't wanna poke the tin and I'm gonna start poking holes all through the cake. Mind you, it's still cooling, it's still like hot. So after I poke holes, I'm just gonna let this hang out and completely cool. So I'm going to pour my tres leches or the three milk mixture into a squeeze bottle. That'll just make it a lot easier to control when I go to pour it over these little mini loaf cakes. I'm going to shake it up and now it's time to saturate this golden sponge cake. And I like to do about two to three passes over the cake. I'll do one pass and let it soak in. I'll just do all four of them. And then I'll go back over a couple of more times. Now I'm going to cover with the lids that these little cake tins came with. Makes it very handy. And this is actually a good side hustle. You can like quadruple this recipe and sell these. I know a lot of people that like to bake and sell stuff. So you can let these hang out for several hours in the fridge or overnight for best results. So for the whipped topping, I'm going with 12 fluid ounces of whipping cream. I'm also going to add two to three tablespoons of powdered sugar. Again, things like this, the ratios of, of ingredients is really up to you when it comes to like sweet or salty. So I went with like two tablespoons. Okay, so now I'm going to whisk this until it forms kind of like a soft peak stage. You don't want to over whip this. You don't want it to curdle, but this is perfect. So here I made these little strawberry hearts as garnishes. You can just put a whole strawberry. Like I said, if this is your little side hustle to sell baked goods out of your home, garnish how you like. Okay, so this is ready. I'm just going to add some of the whipped topping and spread it on the entire exterior or the, the exposed top of this cake. And you know, you can really pipe this on, make it fancy. I just like to spread this whipped cream on top. And the whipped cream topping will last, I would say even overnight in your refrigerator once it's topped before it kind of starts to deflate and kind of not have that smooth texture. So I added my little strawberry hearts and this is done. You can cover with a lid and eat later or eat now. But here are my mini lunchbox tres leches cakes. So good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.